In this video of a relatively soft cataract, I am attempting the lateral illumination that is using an indel illuminate, endo illuminator to perform my phaco emulsification, at least some steps of the phaco emulsification. And this is a, a, a technique promoted by Jan Yepes. Uh, this video is my first attempt at such a procedure and there will be some drawbacks. So initially I of course start off with my uh, incisions and here was the first mistake I suppose. I made a regular side port incision. Uh, I should have made a much smaller incision because I am going to go through, uh, I mean I am going to use that for the endo illuminator. And initially I asked my assistant to hold the endo illuminator at the limbus for me to attempt my rexus as I was using both my hands and uh, this is not such a great idea i was hardly able to see i can see the flap but uh, since this is my first case i did not want to uh, go ahead with this and i switched on the microscope light and completed my rexus however it's anything but curvilinear it ended up being a pear shaped you know, that was a rexus I had to work with and I worked with that. So you can say the rexus is a bit out of shape. But no loss in integrity. So therein is the rexus after which I go ahead and do my hydro dissection. That's a pretty good fluid wave that you can see. And then I checked if my hydro dissection is complete with my dialer rotated the nucleus very well kicked up some cortex as well as this is my first attempt with this lateral illumination technique I wanted to it to be as safe as possible and here I put off my microscope lights and I am going to put on the endo illuminator which is in my left hand and that is the kicked up cortex that you can see and somehow I am not, maybe the quality of my video can be better, but uh, anyway, you can see the kicked up cortex. I am going in with my phaco probe into the anterior chamber, just washing off those air bubbles. And initially, I am going to, I plan to do the stop and chop technique. This is only a grade 2 nuclear sclerosis, nothing great. So I am aspirating those cortical fibers. Uh, don't let the uh, 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 image captured fool you. I can see a little better than what you can see on your screen there. Uh, that's because there is so much reflected light that has been recorded. So, but still. Being the first case, I have been extremely cautious. It is not easy. I mean, it's not that it's not easy. It's it's different. Let me put it that way. It's different to what you are used to. And as you can see, even my microscope is not centered. However, I'm just trying to sculpt a trench. And you can see pretty good three-dimensional quality that, that I could appreciate at least the microscope and I am just rotating the nucleus because I can't use my endo eliminator I rotate the nucleus with my phaco tip itself and start the trench from the other end uh, although I knew I could go a little bit deeper I am not taking any chances because really, this is the, since it being a virgin case, I'm, I'm not too sure how deep I am. So, so I'm, I'm staying very safe. I know there is some sheet behind, so that's enough for me. I have not gone through. But you can actually pretty well make out and you can go quite deep actually. However, I am erring on the more cautious side. So I can see those the floor very well. I need to buzz it little more. 
and there goes and then I realize the other side is little shallow trench so turn it around again and take off you can see that shelf there very well take off that shelf as well so in that way this this really helps you to gauge the crater much better than your coaxial illumination with all the other difficulties of course I just thought I could use the endo illuminator as a second instrument but then I abandon it just to show you the picture from the endo illumination from outside and there I put on my microscope light and you can see that's a pretty good trench and there is a posterior plate as well so pretty safe all in all I take in my dialer and make the first crack turn it around make the second crack and take off my dialer get in again with my endo illuminator I plan to eat up these pieces with my FACO probe under endo illumination or lateral illumination so again they go out the lights and it's just like a science fiction movie the pieces coming out as you know this is a very soft cat track nothing nothing to be alarmed about just that it looks everything looks so different from what you have been used to so there that's it the nucleus is done and here is sometimes a problem to given uh, diffuse illumination sometimes part of the cortex cuts off your illumination sometimes your FICO tip itself cuts off part of the illumination or your endo illuminator is turned the wrong way whatever so many things that can go so again I come out this time go in with my coaxial and again put in the endo illuminator put off the lights uh, this is not a good idea to crush with the endo illuminator but I have no choice and there you can see I know there are two large cortical bits that's one done and you have to be a little patient about it because those those fibers that you can see is actually the vitreous highlighting and the cortex is done so again I put in there is a bit of cortex left I am not going to try any stunts with that just take old good old Simcoe and take it out and you can see it's done very well and again I go in with my endo eliminator just to see how it looks with the IOL going in this is a safe step I put in HPMC so and this is a hydrophilic lens there's nothing going to happen so just seeing so and that's it and again I will be taking my coaxial IA to aspirate the HPMC and to have a look and to get a feel of what it looks like actually with this lateral illumination people may ask me why 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 are you trying this why not stick the old way yes of course I will stick the old way but I always like to try new things you never know what will really work in your hands and what will be a uh, you know a technique that you actually 
adopt, improve and this is how uh, we should work. Don't criticize uh, techniques uh, before you have actually performed it and if, even if it doesn't work in your hands, it may work in others' hands. Thank you for watching.